Hello YouTube, we're going to do some more practice with those 560 force rods. We'll take a picture of it. We left a little gap in there. And we have the ground clamp on the negative. When we did that car jack, we switched these and it was kind of a nasty weld. Actually, it was a crappy weld. So, here's the rods. That's what type of rods they are. I may not even take a picture because I take plenty of pictures. So. Stay tuned, we'll bring you back and we'll show you what the weld looks like. I wish I could have a system to show you welding, but I just don't have nothing like that set up. So stay tuned, we'll weld it, we'll bring it back and show you what it looks like. Okay, one of these pieces is 8 inch thick, the other one's 5 30 seconds, which we all know is a little over it. Please be careful. Had to knock the slide off there. Here's where it was kind of blowing through. Okay, we're going to grind this all off and start fresh with a little bit of a gap. And we'll be right back with this side welded. We're trying to practice welding gaps together instead of just putting a bead on top of metal. So hang in here. We'll get this down yet. We're going to learn these rods in this little welder. Okay, now this is the bottom side. We ground that off. Then here was a gap. We welded it. And it started getting thin. So you can see where I just had to kind of keep spot welding it. Okay. But I was starting to get a pretty good bead in between there. These rods are very hard to make a bead with, but they're okay for welding stuff together that you don't care what it looks like. This experience I had making stones this little welder. It doesn't, I've never been able to make good welds with a small 16th inch rod, so. Uh, so that was my first try. We'll grind it down and try to put a bead on this gap over here. So we're at it one more time. Okay, we did put a small groove in there. So we're off the weld and see what happens. A little bit of a groove in there with the sander desk. So I don't know if I started the camera at the right time. We're off the weld it. Hang in there. No time to edit. Okay, we're trying to block the sun. I'm getting a little better at it. That's what the slag knocked off and wire brushed. We did take a picture of it because this is getting kind of blurry You're trying to film this. But we're going to do a little more. We'll bring you back. We'll put another bead on. Okay, what we're trying to imitate is something that was broke. We're trying to weld together and we got a bevel on it. So that's what we're doing with this gap in the metal. So we'll bring you back after we weld this bead. Okay, we knocked the slag off and wire brushed it. We had to stop. The sunlight was so bright we stopped. The sunlight was so bright we could not focus where we was at. I'm you really need to turn my back to the sun. I just went ahead and stopped before I went off and made a mess. So I did stay on the crack pretty good but that's about the best I'm gonna get with this rod. But it's a lot better than trying to do it backwards like I figured it might work. So I'll be welding with the electrode positive with these rods. Because they are a nice size rod for small stuff. So, thanks for watching. Hope this helps. If anybody has that little inverter welder or has one of the small 110 welders and they want to practice with this size rod. So, kind of gives you an idea. You, you can do it if you just take your time and keep practicing. So, thanks again for watching. We're getting better. That was two passes. You can almost see it because it's thick metal. Don't ask me the thickness. I'm not going to measure it. There you go. I am getting better. My next practice is to grind this out and try to fill this in. There will be a picture of it. I won't video it. I'm going to grind it out and try to weld that gap shut right there. And smooth it over with this flapper disc like I was building a part of a stove. 